We all know that we can't cite a source if we haven't read and understood all of the information inside of it. That's why, when you use Google Scholar, you have to know how to find the full text of the sources you find. First, remember to set up your preferences so you can see the link that says Full Text at LMU in the results list. If you are on the LMU campus, this link will take you directly to the full text of the source. If you're off campus, you'll have to verify that you are authorized to access LMU's online resources by typing your MyLMU username and password into this page. While LMU has access to a lot of material online, we don't have access to everything. Sometimes you'll come across material in Google Scholar that's not available through LMU subscriptions or print collection. In those cases, you can request to have the PDF of the article sent to you from another library using the library's Iliad service. All you have to do is fill out the form on the Iliad website and the LMU librarians take care of the rest. As soon as you have the full article in front of you, read the summary or abstract to determine whether or not the article is relevant to your research topic. If the article seems appropriate for your research topic, quickly scan through the paper to see if it has the common elements of an original scientific article. Start by looking at the section headers. In the vast majority of scientific articles, you should expect to see an introduction and sections explaining the experiment's materials and methods, results, a discussion of the findings, acknowledgments, and a list of references. While scanning the article, you may also come across graphical or tabular displays of data because this type of information is very common in scientific articles. You can also do a quick Google search to find out if the journal the article was published in is reputable and peer-reviewed. Usually, journals will include this kind of information on the About section of their website. If you ever need help evaluating material that you found in Google Scholar, or you just need guidance on how to read a scientific paper, please visit your course LibGuide at libguides.lmu.edu slash BIOL111.